Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Speed Build Sunday, the day of the week where I build whatever I want, because I can. So, this week I decided to do something way out of some normal for me, like way out of the ordinary. I decided to build my version of the Candyland board game. It was a time, let me tell you, because to sit there and go through the board game, see what it consists of, how many squares there were, and I didn't go, I'm gonna be honest, the game comes with 120 squares for you to like jump through, or like move through. I don't think I have 120 squares, I actually don't know to be honest, but the thing that took the most time was using the debug option or the debug and live edit mode stuff because going through it's not organized you can't type in like straw and then a straw will come up we don't have candy canes so I had to use straws you know, I had to do whatever I could to make it look like candy which I feel like I did my best I used snow to make it look like frosting it was it was, it was both very time consuming and a lot of fun. I like bright colors. I'm a seven year old at heart. I love candy, so kind of worked out. This is definitely in the gallery. If you ever want to play Candyland with your Sims, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with my Sims. We're going to play a round of Candyland. And I, what do I say now? Oh, <laughs> I, the, Excuse me, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. There are a few places you can stop at or see through Candyland. So you have King Candy Castle, which is the castle that's the sized up child's toy at the very end of the game. Um, you have the Gingerbread Plum Tree, Gumdrop Mountains, Licorice Castle, Lollipop Woods, Chocolate Swamp, Ice Cream Sea, Peppermint Forest, Peanut Brittle House, and you have the Peanut Brittle Farm. Those are all the places you can stop at on your way through Candyland. I'm thinking about creating some Sims to go with Candyland so I can play and you guys can play too. Uh, I got, I'm gonna be honest, I got this idea from while I was watching, I didn't get it from this person, but I got the idea while I was watching um, Deligracy and the Sim Supply, they were playing chess, and that's when I thought, oh my gosh, I can just create Candyland. Did not expect it to turn out this way, like, I, I, yeah. I kind of expected it to turn out this way, but I also didn't expect it to take so much time. There you go, that's the word I'm looking for. I didn't expect it to take so much time. But I love the way it turned out. It is so colorful, there's candy, ice cream, lollipops, all that fun stuff, cupcakes, chocolate swamp. The chocolate swamp I tried to make it look pretty, but you can only do, you can only do so much. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing okay? Good. That's what I like to hear. I am so excited because I'm recording this on Saturday and I'm so excited because I get to go to church tomorrow. I know you guys, there's you guys are probably like, really, Dilly? That's what you're excited about? But yeah, I haven't gone to church in, I'm going to say like five or six weeks. My pastor's probably super mad at me, but that's okay. And like, I say he's super mad at me, but in reality, he's living his life. <laughs> he probably is not really worried about me at all. I went, oh, I have stories to tell. I went to karaoke. And if you don't, if you want to know anything about me, like anything one, if there's, sorry, let me rephrase this. If there's one thing you need to know about me is that I love karaoke. Like, I love karaoke so much. It's ridiculous how much I love karaoke. I took, I asked my friend Michael if he wanted to go with me, and he said yeah, and he brought his friend. And, oh, they were in for a treat. I sang, and I made a whole bunch of new friends because... I make new friends everywhere I go. Um, I went to the bar and if 
as you probably already know, my favorite drink, alcohol-wise, is the Cosmopolitan. I love Cosmopolitan so much. And I went up to the bar and I ordered a drink. The first one was made by the guy that works there. He didn't make it too well. And the second time I went up to the bar, the n nice girl at the counter, or at, excuse me, at the bar named Rachel, she was like, oh my, I told her, can I, hi, can I get a Cosmopolitan? And she said, I just finished watching Sex in the City. And I went, oh, I love Sex in the City. <laughs> And then we talked about how much we love Sex in the City and how the Cosmopolitan is famous for Sex in the City or Sex in the City made the Cosmopolitan famous. And then I got her phone number and next time I go, before I go, I'm going to see if she's working because she's, her Cosmos are so good. She made my Cosmo. It was mwah, delicious. And then the second time I went, she pulled out a lighter and she like lightly burned the piece of fruit to make it and it brought out the flavor in the drink. It was like the best Cosmo I've ever had. That's not even exaggerating. Like it was the best Cosmo I've ever had. And next time I go and if she is working, I'm definitely bringing my own lighter. That way she can always burn my fruit for me because it's magnifique. I don't, I, there's no other way that I can say it. It's just magnifique. Just, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> there was th these two very, very, very cute boys at, um, the bar, and, how do I put this? I was, I don't want to say I was watching them all night, because that makes me sound creepy, but I was watching them, because I was like, they they were to, they came in together, they dre they looked like they were a gay dating a couple in a gay dating website very attractive white um kind of looks similar like definitely fr from a, from an advertisement and i was watching them like trying to figure out are they together are they a couple are they just both straight but they dress really well like what is it and then they started dancing with a few girls and i was like okay they're straight but they were buying each other drinks and then they started leaving the club, so I walked out, and I, I met up with them, and I was like, hey, hi, my name is Dylan, I just wanted to let you know that you guys are so cute, I don't know if you're gay, and they were like, no, no, we're not gay, we're just really close friends. And I was like, oh, okay, you guys just look like you guys came straight out of a dating website, you guys are so cute, and... <laughs> There was blue shirt and gray shirt, and gray shirt was like, oh my gosh, gays are the best. <laughs> They're so nice. <laughs> and then blue shirt went, <sighs> he's like, oh my god, he smells so good, and he kept smelling me. <laughs> and then they asked for my name, and I said Dylan, and then I said, I just wanted to let you know that you guys are so attractive. And then we said, we went our own separate ways. I went back into the bar, and I was sitting with my friends, and then blue shirt came in. And he went up to the bar to close his tab. <laughs> and I sat right next to him, looked around, pretended like I didn't see him, and then I looked left and I went, oh, hello again. <laughs> and he was drunk. And he was like, hey, you're the man, Dylan. You're the man. <laughs> he was so funny. Oh my gosh, sometimes I... I wonder why I get let out in public because I do ridiculous things like that. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I don't know why I get let out in public. That's just, oof. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I wonder if my friends, ever, if my friend Michael ever wants to go out with me again knowing that I do stuff like that. Probably not. It's okay. It is what it is. Oh, I'm sweet but a psycho very very psycho and I am screaming why do I do these types of things yeah that, that would be my song uh, I decided I was gonna start saving money because I want I don't want to rent a house and I or an apartment I want to buy a house yeah because at the end of the your rental period or whatever when you're done paying rent 
you don't own the property and I get I get it that's how rent works but I don't know I want to own my own house especially since my parents keep keep bringing up like oh, when I was your age I own my own house and I'm like yeah and when you were also your, your, my age you ruined your own life I don't want to do everything you did <laughs> but I do want to own my own house not that they ruin their own lives I mean I just feel like they just got married at too young of an age you should not get married until you're at least minimum 25 26 27 at least 30 is I think is a perfect age to get married especially now since people are living longer and that way you have your 20s to date you have your 20s to do all the fun exciting things that you can do before getting married and having kids and settling down not that you need to get married and settle down or excuse me not that you need to get married and have kids you know you can get married and not have kids and still do all the fun things like travel but I feel like it's, when I'm talking about getting married I'm talking about the only frame of reference here we go is people my age and are from this area that I live in and I feel like so many people that I graduated high school with got married and had kids there is somebody that I graduate one of my close high school closest friends like we just lost touch he recently got married and he's we're the same age so he's 22 I'm like wow you have a whole life ahead of you I mean not that like you shouldn't get married but, like I want marriage I want to be married now and I say that but at the same time I still want to go out party have fun with my friends shop not be financially or emotionally tied down to somebody I it's so strange because at the beginning of this year, I was like, I just want to find the man of my dreams. I just want to find love. But I feel like after you just get hurt so many times, it's kind of, I don't want to say over, but you stop trying. That's not true. I don't want to say give up either. You just take a break. There you go. I think that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking a break because I, I don't know if I talked about this guy, but I was dating some guy, I'm gonna call him Light Switch, I, this sounds familiar, I feel like I talked about him, and so like we dated for five weeks in a day, and then he just ghosted me, this is the most recent person that I dated, and he told me, you know, when I'm dating you, I'm only dating you, there's no one else, I'm um, just kidding, there was someone else, and it was a girl, and he left me to date a girl, which, you know what, that's okay, like, I understand being a, he was 21, he's a year younger than I am. I understand that being a 21 year old you have you're still trying to figure out who you are all that fun stuff that comes with being a young 20 something year old but uh, ghosting and being a child and not talking about your feelings is kind of like not the way to go you know it true like just cutting somebody off like a diseased hand is definitely not the way to go or like turning it off like a light switch where it just went and then it's dark yeah oh I don't think I talked about him on my YouTube channel I think I talked about him very lightly on my vlog channel which only has two videos but check out my vlog channel it is linked in the description box below it's always linked in the description box below it it was called uber driver hit on me I think that was the name of the video I only have two videos up so more to come, I just need to figure out what to do. Actually, if you guys have any ideas of what I should do for my vlog channel, please let me know in the comment section below because I would love to know. I personally have, n I sit down and I think, okay, maybe you should do this, Dilly. And then I just don't get around to doing it. That and I thought that when I was, excuse me, I thought that when summer came along I would have so much free time to do things just kidding I'm just it was just a joke to me and everyone else around me because I have no time I also forgot that everyone else is out of school and wants to hang out and do things because over the summer you can't I mean excuse me over winter and spring you can't do it so yeah I've been hanging out well, which is fine I've been hanging out with my friends which I love hanging out with my friends and I've been you know experiencing life going out going on dates I've been going on lots of dates nobody special but I've been going on lots of dates I've been 
doing, I've just been living my best life, I guess. That's how, that's how I would describe it, just living my best life. Playing The Sims very, very sporadically because I, I, I feel like I don't have time to even edit. It's the editing process, like I'm, I can record for hours and hours and hours, but it's the editing process because a 30 minute clip of footage takes an hour and a half, maybe sometimes longer to edit. And it's the idea of sitting down and doing it that I just don't want to do. And I am playing catch up with my sleep because when I was um, when I was teaching over the summer, I didn't sleep as much. And when I was in school, I didn't sleep as much. So it's kind of now I'm playing catch up with my sleep. Uh, it sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not. They're not much. But I just, this is just an apology to you guys. If you guys are waiting for another Jeffree Star video that I have, or the cult challenge that I have going on, it's coming. I already recorded it. It'll hopefully be out next week sometime. I just, I've, I'm going to be honest. I've been getting so lazy. The only thing I want to do is build because building makes me happy. And especially since I'm going to be doing things like this. And of course, now I feel like I have to play Candyland before anyone else plays Candyland and records it and takes credit for my stuff. I wonder how this Candyland game is going to work. I wonder if the snow will melt away, the ice cream will start to smell bad, the cupcakes are going to start smelling bad. I wonder how long that will take before all that starts to become gross. And will it? I wonder, will it? That's a good question. But yeah, I'm sorry, I was just apologizing because I feel like I'm not on my A-game. I've just been playing, I've just been enjoying my life. I haven't, yeah, that's basically all I've been doing is trying to enjoy my life. Ooh, speaking of enjoying my life, guess what? Gossip Girl. I know I don't think I've ever sp talked about Gossip Girl on this channel before, but Gossip Girl is getting a reboot. I am so excited. If you guys don't know about this, Gossip Girl is getting a reboot and... Mm, it has made my day. I am so happy to hear. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, come crashing down on me. But Gossip Girl is being rebooted by HBO, which is strange because it used to be the CW. But whatever. I'll take what I can get. I, I'm going to be honest, when it came to Gossip Girl when it was on, I didn't watch it, but then I watched it on Netflix. And I'm going to be honest, I feel like the first three seasons were good and then everything else just kind of went <clears throat> but I was already just so invested in the characters and especially the fashion. The fashion is the number one reason I want to watch because our style evolution from 2009 up until now has been like skyrocketing. We have been seeing so many fun and exciting things on the runway, on celebrities, the red carpet. If you don't know about, if you didn't know this about me, when I was younger, I wanted to be a fashion designer. So I ha have always loved clothing and fashion and I still do. I love shopping. Shopping is one of my favorite things to do in life. And what, what was I going with this? Oh yeah, the, I really want to see how this new reboot of Gossip Girl, what they look like style wise, because they were really, the style and Gossip Girl, I still look at them and I'm like, wow, they were really amazing. Like, that was some... I really like the clothing in Gossip Girl. But I really want to see how it looks now. Like, are we going to see Fashion Nova e clothes? You know, like, skin tight with some rubber? Because I feel like celebrities like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and other people like that have really modernized it for us. Are we going to see... I some of the characters previous styles be worked in like Blair Waldorf was very preppy are we gonna see more preppy clothes I really want to see preppy clothes actually I'm like I am so excited you guys have no idea no 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 idea uh, let me know who your favorite character is in Gossip Girl if you've watched Gossip Girl because my favorite character and I got slack for this 
by my friends. My favorite character was Blair Waldorf. I think she was great. She was... She's a genius. She's witty. She wants to take down her enemies. She is... I feel like she is just a boss. She literally controls people. And she doesn't have to pay them. Genius. I wish I could control people. Maybe I'd have my videos up on time <laughs> every week. But no. I can't control people. I'm too nice to control people, too. Maybe that's why I like Blair Waldorf so much, is because I, I can't imagine being like her, being mean like her anymore. I used to. I used to be really mean, but I can't imagine being as mean as her anymore, so like I live vicariously through her queen bee manipulative games. She was really good at it. Let me tell you that. I like that I spent some of this episode, or excuse me, some of this speed build, the Candyland speed build, talking about Gossip Girl. Okay, Dilly, what's wrong with you? Obviously, those two are not the same and they do not go together, so what are you doing? I don't know. If I'm being honest, I have no idea what. But I hope you like the candy band. The candy band? The Candyland speed build. I. I am getting close to the end of the video, so let me know what you think of this build. It can be found in the gallery by searching Candyland Board Game, or it's also in the description box below. Or you could also find it by searching me, Dilly Sims, in the, com in, in the gallery. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things, and I'll catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.